Здравствуйте, меня зовет Каталин. Я, я в Румунии, я solution архитект в Мале Тверки. Се називає iComputer Solution. And uh, to, to not to kill our Ukrainian uh, language further, <laughs> I'll continue in English. Uh, anyhow, you, you can try asking me, um, saying the question in uh, Ukrainian. Uh, there is a fair chance that I understand, but please, louder. Gromšie. Prašu vras gromšie. Okay. Um, Oh, I should try my luck. Uh, had any of you have ever been to my presentation? Yes, you know. You, you already know what's, what's happening. Now, because, you know, Romanians, everybody knows that are lazy. Bear in mind that uh, being lazy, you will do the presentation. So, Slava, you're going to be hit, and you also. So, as you know, uh, this will be a very inter interactive presentation. This is how we learn together to do some stuff. Uh, what's, what means in cloud acrob acrobatics? Um, it means that we're going to uh, talk about what's in Azure IoT mostly. Uh, this is a part of series of presentation uh, around, uh, let's say, IoT circus. We have a lot of toys. You'll see it uh, this running uh, in the expert corner later. Uh, so. Um, uh, let's uh, continue with the slides. There are not that many, and we ha do not have that many uh, much time. Uh, okay, uh, let's uh, finish my presentation. Uh, uh, till there, 2011, I was awarded the title of most valuable professional. Um, you can guess for a chocolate in which category? Okay, you are the first on IoT. In fact, I'm on Windows development, but I'm working with the team developing Windows IoT Core. And, okay, 42. If you ask Microsoft, what's, uh, okay, I, ha I have my cheat sheet here. Vid, povid, na ostatke pitanje žiti, vsi se viti ta sve. Answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything. Sounds familiar to you? From where? Yeah, hitchhiker hike, uh, guide to the galaxy. So, Microsoft at everything will answer, it's Azure. You have a cold? Yes, you need Azure. So, uh, same, same at here. Um, okay, uh, from this uh, presentation, you need also to... Um, I'm, I'm checking the time, it's very tight. Um, to get the idea that IoT solutions, uh, uh, you should imagine them as Lego boxes. You have different manufacturers, have Lego boxes, and you get the stuff that's interesting from you, and you mix them and mash it how, how you want it. Uh, and let's get to the architecture as Microsoft uh, proposes it. Um, now, we need to do some setups also afterwards, but uh, we'll do um, as we speak. Okay, um, so. Let's try to, um, okay, get rid of this. Uh, so we have here the wonderful architecture. Um, uh, Upside uh, said something about stream analytics. Uh, forget this, and uh, uh, do you see it? It's clearly not that much. Uh, here I, ca I cannot help you. Oh, I say uh, you can uh, define the, uh, IoT solution but per Microsoft proposition, in, uh, I will do it in three parts. Uh, on the left side, you'll, you'll get, uh, a device pro, uh, you get a device who makes data, and you need to be able to ingest it. Uh, what do you think? What is the problem ingesting data in IoT solution? Uh, let me tell you about uh, my background. We are doing industrial solution. Uh, any of you in IoT here? No. Yes, just curious. Okay, uh, any of you in manufacturing as such? No. Uh, okay, the problem goes like this. Uh, we are on an assembly line of some kind, and at the beginning something happens. And uh, this device begins sending data. Because the uh, next machine does not have enough material or something, that device will send again data. So uh, we will start getting a lot, a lot of data when something happens. This is specific industrial scenarios. We really have a huge spike in data received. 
So uh, in the first part, we have the application that generates the data, and we need somehow to survive. So on Azure stuff, we had, um, they have that, that heart, round heart, which is called even hub. But for, uh, for uh, IoT solution, this is a bit different. It's called, it's a, uh, let's say, a special kind of event hub called IoT hub. I hate, I hate hearing my voice in the mics. Uh, OK. So um, what, uh, in your opinion, is the difference between an event hub and an IoT hub? Do you know what's in uh, event hub? Louder. Uh, okay, I'll give you chocolate. <laughs> it, it's a collector uh, as function. Ah. Um, okay. Um, any other ideas? Let's say technical. What's inside? I have a database. I have a message queue. What I have? Who was with message queue? Okay. Ah. The, the recording for, for this session will look like a porno film because <laughs> uh, a lot of noises. On. Okay, yes, there are message queues. Uh, uh, how many message queues are in an event hub? Yeah, you said it's a message queue. How many? It's one? Uh, so you said for each source, it's, uh, uh, I have a different queue. Mm, maybe, no, it cannot be yes or no. 50, no. <laughs> uh, th this, is, this is the difference, because on Event Hub, I do not care for where I get the data, I just get messages. On Event Hub, on the other hand, I have a queue, but remember, it's, uh, it's a queue uh, loosely for each device. And also, the communication is bidirectional, so I, I can receive data, I can send back uh, uh, comments. How many queues I have for each device? Two. Who was the two? Okay, got the chocolate. Yes, we have, we have two queues. Um, other difference is um, I know which device I talk. This is very important because if I have a device, the Russian conquered that device. We cannot switch it away from our, our uh, environment easily from the Azure. Uh, and third, we have something called like Azure Bus, uh, serv Azure Service Bus functionality. Okay, this communication in Azure, it's very simple. You can change the protocol just changing the line. Uh, do you know what's uh, service box functionality, for example? Okay, uh, have you heard about service bus? Yes. Okay, what happened on service bus if my communication on the port I want is blocked? Louder. Message writes. Okay, I, I do not understand. What happened? Re uh, really, what happened? My communication is blocked on that port. I will have no communication, or the communication will continue in some other way. You'll get the chocolate, but you're not right. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, on the other hand, you are right. The customer, the, the pub audience, it's always right. Uh, but no, in service bus, what do you mean? All the communication will be switched to the port 80. And we'll get to the firewall, but on service bus, you need to pay for this. On this, it's uh, because it's functionality. All your communication will be moved to the port, which is good to do that, 80. And uh, you won't fear any, any disruption. So. This is the difference between even, usual event hub and IoT hub. IoT hub is especially for IoT devices. Bear in mind it's mes message-based. So this is another good question. If it's, if it's mes message-based, I need to switch to Ukrainian. English does not <laughs> suit me. Um, it's real time. Yes or no, 50%. Don't give me depends. And don't, uh, don't give me the Microsoft answer. Uh, well, depends on the latency of the uh, network. No, this as an architecture is real time or not. Okay, you said this. Why? But the processing of the message is even driven. Even driven in Smith, you need to have an executive that really monitors the queues on real time, computer real time specification. So, it's real time, yes or no? Okay, no, yes or no? 
No. I, I better give it to the young lady. So, no. It's very close, you're absolutely right, but it's not computer real-time. But bear this in mind, for some solution, it's not suitable. Okay, from Microsoft won't renew my MVP title after this, but <laughs> this is another stuff. Up to now, a message-based solution cannot be real-time. So, okay. Uh, good, now we have the data and queues. Uh, we are absolutely or or orgasmic. What to do with the data? It's not in a database, it's nowhere. So, we have the, the second stuff. We have a lot of data, we need to take it, and we need to do so, some, some filtering, somehow. Uh, for example, I have, the, the, I have a device which is broken, but it's still sending data. Anyhow, the machine is broken. Uh, I want the, uh, some KPI to go uh, to um, so, uh, Power BI. We'll get back what's Power BI. And all the data to be, so, uh, to be saved for uh, compli compliance reasons. What, what should I do? Well, one of the ideas is uh, stream analytics. Stream analytics, it's, um, okay, as first as mnemonic. This we will remember. It's uh, something that uh, stops my data uh, lake becoming a notion of junk. Here uh, we have an uh, SQL-like uh, language in which we can uh, filter the data. If you know our SQL, it's very powerful. Let's say the most, uh, okay, thank you. Uh, the most simple uh, example um, that the Microsoft give us it's um, that a, a my credit card number was used in the uh, less than 20 minutes, a distance more than 40 kilometers. I should get something. This is, uh, is done by using uh, time window SQL. It's, uh, let's say, if you know an SQL, it's, it's a common SQL for somebody who knows SQL. Okay, uh, so this also acts like a telephone uh, switchboard. If the data has these parameters, sorry, We'll go to some place. If data um, um, has some other parameters, uh, we'll go to a measure function. If uh, um, all the data goes to a database. Okay, we do primary filtering. So we have uh, uh, data ingestion, we do primary filtering, and now let's do something with the data. Uh, in our case, uh, the most, uh, most successful stuff, uh, it was uh, Power BI. Power BI, what it is? It's a um, um, data visualization tool which gives you some insights. And it has very good mobile clients. So our plant managers are really happy to have the, uh, the production KPIs on their phones. Also, you can do commands. You can do a lot of stuff. Because otherwise, you have data in the cloud. It's help you to nothing. Uh, and now, let's, let's uh, go to the demo. We'll have something like five minutes to talk about it. Uh, any of you work with Android devices? Yeah, you should get the chocolate. Yes, you too. Let's look how we stay. Oh, we stay good. Unfortunately, they have only small packages in many. <laughs> no. Um, yes. So, um, uh, I was uh, um, warned that uh, my, uh, part of my hardware demo is dead. Yes, it's true. It's based on Arduino and Windows 10 Mobile. Arduino is dead because nobody's, uh, uh, this version, nobody's uh, doing uh, the chip anymore that we used. Okay, uh, what's a shield? A shield on Arduino. Arduino shield. You said you work with Arduino. Who knows who is a... Hmm? Yeah, but what it is? Yeah, uh, to add functionality. So, uh, I'm, now hit me. I usually do not use the, the microphone. Uh, you, uh, may, some of you do not uh, hear the answer. So, it's, it's stuff that you put on Arduino and uh, gives uh, additional functionality. For example, like uh, uh, GPS connection, GPS, whatever. You can stack them. And uh, um, they uh, draw power from the uh, Arduino. Uh, how much it is one shield, for example? How much has money? Three dollars. It's, it's, it's cheap, but when you have a lot of shields, you get a lot of, um, you spend a lot of money. As a question, um, how much is uh, this kind of telephone? 
uh, less than $50 when it was new. So what, what will be the idea to use all the sensors from this and all the communication and to see it like a shield in Arduino? Be nice. Okay, so let's put it this way. Uh, it's impossible, you said. <laughs> so still, no, it's not impossible. There, there is an open source library called uh, Firmata. It works also on Arduino. We, uh, here we have the implementation for Windows, which is called Arduino uh, Virtual Shield. All the code is working on the Arduino and use the sensors from here. For this demo, this is a demo that we use to generate data, and we'll need, still need a setup. We'll get back to it. It's, this is a story. Uh, I'm using the accelerometer. When I'm shaking this, that LED blinks. Uh, OK, uh, yes, all it's open source. So uh, you can do it your stuff. Uh, I must emphasize this is as a question. I still have a lot of chocolates. How about security? Uh, this works over Bluetooth, USB, uh, Wi-Fi, whatever. Do you have security in this, in, from the box? If you go to GitHub and use the bi uh, library. Yes or no, 50%. Now, you get another chocolate. So yes, no. Uh, when I asked the guy about security who maintained the library, they said that it's open source. If you need it, you should do it. <laughs> um, so we get the other way around. How about in a Windows Universal Platform application? I can see the uh, Arduino. I can see the pins. I can see if some uh, pin goes up as an event. It would be nice. Yeah, uh, don't tell me it does not work. If you tell me that, I will go after, after the, this presentation to bet. <laughs> we'll do a lot of bets. So uh, yes, it's possible. Again, it's an open source library. It works with all. Uh, um, uh, with all uh, Windows uh, universal application, this means that I can do it also on a PC, so it should work. Yeah, yeah it, it's working. And this we, we're going to see in, in the application. So all the code ro runs on the uh, Windows 10 device, and I see the Arduino as an extension. It's very simple. Again, it's open source. No problem. One question. Say Q. Riti. Yes, no? So this time, I would like, I love to like, give you a chocolate, but I'll give him, <laughs> because no, if he, again, oh, sorry, again, if you want it, you need to implement it. <laughs> so the, this will, um, it's, it's very complex. I, I put in my card, I'm an IoT engineer because I'm blinking LEDs. What's the purpose of it? We have um, a Windows 10 IoT core running on Raspberry Pi. So that Raspberry Pi blinker LED, and when the blinker LED, he reads two photoresistors. Most probably because of the fluorescent light here, we'll have some spurious signals, but OK. Yeah, when he sees the lights on the photoresistors, we'll calculate the time on when he blinked the LED until the reaction and send it to the cloud. Up this moment, it won't work. Uh, let's continue the discussion. Remember the, the last topic we talk, that with yes and no, because it will be another chocolate for you when we get back into the system uh, and uh, show you the portal of the... Okay. It's doing something. So I will show you the, the portal of the, the, the stuff. This is uh, how you see a Windows 10 IoT core device now. I must uh, emphasize that this is no, not uh, last version for creator update. I had a good reason not to put it. Because it breaks the functionality of another stuff that you're going to see later. This won't work. Remember the last stuff. Uh, you, you see in the corner is the problem. And also with the hand, I'm showing it. And it's uh, connected with the topic I'll talk last. So when I, this, I'm, when I run the application and send it to Azure, I will get an error message called transient, uh, uh, transient error. Why? 
until you, you think about it, I'll connect this device to Wi-Fi. Maybe the problem will connect, uh, will correct itself. So let's see, conference, five floor, connect. Uh, and also, until you think about it, this is again important. Um, okay, let me help you. Uh, when you are uh, uh, reading the press, usually, uh, in the same sentence with IoT, what word do you have? Again, we mention it a lot. Louder. Romši je vas. Okay. You want the chocolate? Yes, you find it, but it's not one. Usually the guy from Microsoft said that uh, people have another concern. Let's uh, really see the device time. So, this is a Windows 10. If you are remote from a Windows 10, what do you use to connect? Louder, Gromsch. Who was with remote desktop? This, this really... <laughs> okay, I, I got it, you want the chocolate. <laughs> so, uh, we'll, we'll have to... So, I won't give you. <laughs> I give to Natalia. <laughs> so, um, I, I will, uh, who was the remote desktop? Okay. <laughs> so, Yes, there is a version of remote desktop. Uh, it's a version, again, about the reason we have mentioned it. Uh, remote, uh, this would be IoT. Windows IoT remote client. So, let's connect to the device. It will take a bit, we still have network connection. Uh, yes, and yes, now it will, it will work. Because if you look in the corner, look into the corner. Now something has changed. Yes, and what's, what, why it's important time? Again, you have a chance for chocolate. Security, you know, you cheat, you've been before, yes because of cryptography. Cryptography certificates need the special, uh, you want the chocolate, so. Okay, <laughs> okay I, I believe that I have it up. It, the, uh, I, I was just told that I'm, I'm not a good presenter, but nevertheless, the message got through. <laughs> Yes, yes, uh, because you need to be in the same minute. Does not matter the hour or the time zone, but you must, must be in the same minute, because otherwise, of course, you'll get a wonderful Microsoft error message, which is a transient error. Should we try la later? Very good. I said does not matter. Okay, uh, does not matter. As far as I know, I never, I live in a small country, do not have half an hour and stuff. So as far as, and wherever I've been, I never encountered this. So yes, maybe half an hour, it's a problem. As far as I know, uh, uh, the right minute is okay. And uh, if the device time zone is somehow... Okay, now it will, most probably finger cross will work. And uh, to finish the discussion, let's get back to the picture and then uh, do demos to the rest of the time we have. And also, I have a lot of slides, something like two more. Uh, so here, what's the story with field gateways? And now it's called IoT Edge, because Microsoft now... Uh, it's how to say IoT Edge is a bit more than this. We'll go back to it. Uh, let me get you to help you to answer that, that my question. And guys, I'm, I'm losing my voice. I'm, I'm lazy. Please, you do the presentation. I come here for the food and the girls. <laughs> so, what's the story? If I have an Arduino device, I can connect it easily, directly to the Azure, uh, Azure Cloud. Yes, no, 50%. No. Okay, you, it, thank you. 
Really, thank you. That was the complete answer. This is what I expect from you guys. <laughs> Yes, does not support cryptography. Why does not support cryptography? Because it doesn't have a processing power. That does not matter. It's, it does not, it's not powerful enough to do the job. Yes, somebody in Serbia said that I can do it. Yes, you can do it. Yes, you can make from a mosque which a tank. It will be good. Yeah, it depends. <laughs> so yeah, it's not supported. And in this scenario, you use this. You use this, this stuff. So what's the story? This is a Raspberry Pi, a PC, a something that connects with the device at their level and then package the data and send it over to Azure Cloud, um, cryptography and all the stuff. <laughs> and uh, now, this is called IoT on the Edge because they have, you can have a couple of more functionality. For example, you can run machine learning algorithms on it. It's not yet public, it was announced on Ignite. What's the problem with it as I see it? For this, you need to run at least two Docker containers on the machine. I, I shudder to the idea of running uh, on Raspberry Pi to Docker containers or sending over the bad connection this. But maybe I'll be surprised. Microsoft has wonderful developers and will be something small and something very, uh, very simple to deploy. So. Uh, Okay, so we see the demo. We'll blink some LEDs. Uh, we'll get the data uh, through the way. I have configured uh, an, Azure, an uh, IoT hub. We'll go to Stream Analytics. We'll go to the Power BI. I will show you that. And uh, then I will need, let's say, a couple of volunteers if the lights does not help us. So this is device portal. Um, here I have the Azure IoT hub. Oh. Okay, uh, why I use this uh, Internet Explorer? This is a pro tip. Um, you have connection strings. Chrome uh, sometimes garbles the connection string when you do copy on the button. So here you see how many devices I have registered and how many messages. I have one device registered. In the last uh, four days, I sent none, no messages because this presentation was about the disconnected scenarios. Uh, so, we have the stream analytics job. It will be someplace like, uh, which is running. Uh, please remember the stream analytics job, even when it's uh, not doing anything, it's consume money. Same like uh, uh, IoT hub, but uh, this consume much more. So, you need to stop it. But you can stop it. So, I will show you my very complex SQL, because I'm very good in SQL. How do you see it? Uh, let, let's try to select it somehow to make it, mm, or try to make it bigger. Uh, so magnifier. So it's, it's highly complex. OK, one stuff. Uh, uh, here I have two outputs. I send everything into the database. And I can send it directly to the Power BI. When you try this at home, you can try it at home without any electronics. Bear in mind, when you send it to Power BI, they need a couple of me messages to receive before they uh, know the database structure. Again, I'll, uh, something is missing here. For example, let's move. Okay. Um. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm, uh, what's the this one? Let's try to show you. I do not like the projector here. Uh, I hope that nobody from the team is here. <laughs> Will kill me. Um, what's what's the story with this? What's that? Yes, the timestamp. Uh, I do not need the eye to take care of the timestamp. The uh, uh, IoT Hub tells me when the event got into the queue. And this is how you can um, uh, see how fast the, the data are taking from the queue, by the way. So, and the Power BI, it's uh, okay, it's pretty simple. And then we'll pray the demo gods because we have a lot of Windows minus. And we'll pray the demo gods to see if the all the stuff is working. So Power BI, this is the dashboard. If um, uh, our plant manager looks 
they will see this one. And if he wants to see what's the problem, at what machine the uh, uh, Romanians fall asleep, they can drill down. And here you have all the stuff. I won't go to details how the Power BI is working. Try it, it's very powerful. And also, it was one of the stuff that uh, really uh, kicked our guys. And because I bored you to death, let me do, uh, try a joke. Um, uh, really, when we try to sell Power BI um, sell solution, the guys say, never, uh, we do not use Azure, do not use cloud, but we have Office 365. Yes. And I say, okay, very good, but won't you use cloud, you use Office 365 and you put Power BI on top of it. So, yes, some guys do not know what's up. So, let's try to hit the application. The second one and see how up, what's happening, and this one. Uh, and F5. And this will take a bit because we'll copy the layout to the, it's one megabyte, will take something like uh, half a minute. And you should, we should see it up here. So if you have any questions, besides why in the earth I bother to come to this presentation? Uh, you can ask me why I'm doing uh, this presentation uh, on uh, Windows IoT Core when Raspberry and goes works that fine. I hope that we'll have the time di discussing deployment, and then you'll see why for us this uh, Windows 10 IoT Core has some, uh, uh, let's say, some appeal. Do something, deploy su successful, but still, no debug. Let's get back to the device. Ah, it's starting. This is always saying. This is the splash. I did it. I'm good. I'm an artist. <laughs> so, um, this is a new VP application. Do not expect when you do the Oshima, somebody will know about all this stuff. So it seems that we do have no lack with the uh, lights. I need to volunteers to get some data. Come on, guys. We do not have that much time. We have something like <laughs> guys and girls. Come on. You, you sh uh, could pick which led. So the, and I, yes, you have the phones. One you need to shake, one you need to press the button. So, which, which is which? Right. Let me shake. You want to shake, take the orange one. You press the button then. All right. <laughs> yes, yes. It, <it's laughs> well, we'll see it there. Uh, hopefully, it will work. So, well, now. But look, the lead, it's. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you shaked. So, we're starting to having data. Uh, no, no, when, when the LED is it's on, you have shaked. This is your response time. Let, um, let, let have a couple, of, at least three, three tries. So you need to see it. You can see it also the LED. Again, you did not press the button. Press the button, press the button. Does not see you. Now, when, when the... When this led or his counterpart, something like now. Now, now it's saw, saw you. It's not that. So let's see that the data, if we have any, most probably we have. So let's get to IoT Hub first. And we need to, to see. If you see something like six messages, we are, we are good. We see nothing, but still, it could propagate. Yeah. Also, I said it's not real time, <laughs> and we see no, uh, if otherwise we'll see error messages, and we see nothing. So uh, let's try a couple of more, and then we'll do our best and pray to the demo goes that you see the data. So when the uh, up led, it's you need to shake, you need to press the button. 
But it's not on. No, the, the, uh, yes, now it's, you, you okay. So, uh, hmm? you, you said that you have too much practice. <laughs> I don't get it, sorry. <laughs> so, uh, let me get you two chocolates and uh, let's hope that we have the data. If not, we'll still continue the story. So, thank you very much. An applause for the guys, please. So, we have no, no error messages. We should have the up the data. And if we look here, 824 or something. Um, so we have the, the data. If you look uh, on the um, also on this, um, this pro most probably will change if you go up. Uh, also, this has some latencies. Uh, this is uh, periodically uh, refreshed. Okay, uh, I will, maybe this will refresh, maybe well, I, we, I did not remember the first number. Anyhow, we'll, we'll work a bit more on, on this. I will say, uh, with stream analytics, you're not quite sure how much you pay. And this is uh, a problem. And uh, also, it's pretty complex to do it. And the Azure IoT team said, okay, we do not need that much SQL, let's do something simpler. So, they created something called message routes. <laughs> so, I will try to show you that. Message routes is very simple in uh, um, payment uh, stuff because uh, uh, you pay by bundle of messages. So, there are metrics, there's so, no, routes. So, I created a route that uh, if um, the message is from the green phone, it should go to a service bus queue. Unfortunately, the, the, it's not very clear on the... So, this is the route, it's enabled. So, oh. this says colors equal green. Uh, the message it sends us JSON. It's, uh, it, uh, you need some time to understand uh, uh, how, how the message is packaged, but I'll give you a tip how to, how to solve this. So, this rules is enabled. All the messages that come to the, this uh, uh, IoT hub are filtered. And if the color is green, uh, it's sent to an... Uh, okay, let's get back. Uh, it will send to service bus uh, to this endpoint. The endpoints are growing. For now, it, I believe that it's uh, Azure Functions, a service bus queue. Okay, um, if you go back to top, it will say that, um, uh, yes, um, here on top said that all messages that are not conformed to this, to any of the rules, go to a special event, uh, to, to a special queue. And because we are really dead for time, I have two applications that read uh, these queues. And uh, this has received the green messages because the rule was active. And the other one did not work. Beats me why. But we, we can debug it. So essentially, this is how the message looks inside. It said the message body, it was the time it was received. I have, uh, uh, this is the output of the root. This is, uh, um, the routes are used as an alternative to stream analytics uh, as routing capabilities. If I want to send it to something or to do some actions on the device, I can use message routes. The great advantage of them, besides being lightweight, is that they are very predictive in pricing. So uh, with uh, stream analytics, you are somehow in the limbo. You do not know how much it takes. With this, it's pretty clear. 100 messages, I pay that much. 2,000, I pay that much. And also does not uh, takes money uh, when it's uh, uh, not doing something, uh, which cannot be said about stream analytics, something like $100 per month at my tier, for example. Uh, 
so uh, with uh, this stuff, we'll troubleshoot if you have time at the end. Usually, you get the messages. Um, and I, I believe that I know which is the problem. The problem is up here, because this is not enabled. I need, I need to say this is on. OK. Uh, but still, because we are uh, in a bit of limbo with the time, I'll talk about the two stuff. Uh, I mentioned uh, why, uh, uh, why I really love uh, uh, Windows 10 IoT Core. One of the problems that we have is that our devices are on the, on the factory. If you want to get to them, you need a special permit, you need a hard hat, you need uh, an elevator, you need a lot of stuff. And uh, uh, it will be very nice to know what's happened with them and uh, to, uh, to be able to update them o over the air. In the theory of uh, IoT exists something which is uh, called device twin. What's, what's that? Uh, there is some properties that are kept uh, on the uh, cloud and are synchronized for each device. So I said I wanted, uh, for, in our case, I wanted the LED to be on. Uh, this is the desired. And that device, when the wakes up, you see, it, I want, uh, Azure IoT Hub wants the LED to be on. I take it on and I report that it's on. Um, this is um, think at the level of, uh, let's say, I want you to upgrade to this firmware. And this said, I will upgrade. I upgrade it. And I said, this is part of the theory. Anyhow, the problem is not that simple because you need to push a lot of stuff over the air. So sometimes you need to throttle back the connection. Sometimes you need to split your firmware into packages. Uh, sometimes you need to uh, see a, a CRC and check for integrity all the packages. And on Windows 10 IoT Core, we have the Windows uh, Update APIs, with which we can do this. And I told you before, how, how can you debug um, uh, all the communication? So we always we have a, a good, um, again, this stupid stuff has started. Uh, so, and this I should close. Uh, there is a project on the web. There is more ways you can do it. But my favorite one, it's a device explorer. Bear in mind, connecting the IoT Hub, you have one connection to the IoT Hub itself, which is for the configuration. You can now take pictures, and this is my, uh, to connect to my IoT Hub. <laughs> I have only $120 per, <laughs> so it won't be that. And uh, here you have all the devices that are registered. It's, uh, it's what? OK. I, I need to refresh. Ah, I'm not connected to the proper one. And this is the problem, but uh, uh, this will solve. Um, Interfrastically, how the... Uh, uh, Black Adder would say. And now again, you can take pictures. So using these tools, you can, uh, you can uh, see the communication and all the stuff. Uh, okay, I'll take from here. The, uh, here it's uh, where uh, uh, the copy breaks the uh, connection string. Uh, if I do it in Chrome. So. Hmm? They break it. Uh, no, I want the connection string. Sorry. Copy it. Control. Uh, so update. Settings updated. And now we'll see the device. Management. I see the device which I want. Um, here I have uh, twin properties. Um, so let's see the, if the application has started work uh, now. What's that? This, uh, this also has a timeout. What's the difference with this uh, said remote client? I do not, I'm not sure if I mention it. Why in the earth is this application still up? Uh, it's that uh, it cannot work more than one node. Uh, this is because of security. Okay. We still have uh, two minutes. And Martin won't mind if you... Uh, I will be two minutes more. Um, so here I can show you the uh, reference. Uh, uh, also where we have the... Uh, 
uh, on setups. Um, the JSONs. What I need to send. So this is how it, the message would look. And also from the same application will uh, wrap up, which is good if it starts. Okay, um, just a second, uh, do not find this. Device. One minute. <laughs> really, un one minute. Um, yes, it's the wrong IP to it, but no problem. This will solve. Uh, and until uh, this will deploy, there is another stuff there is on the, uh, okay, not find. Um, use again for uh, uh, this deployment uh, stuff which called the direct methods. I can call a method on the device. What's the, the story with it? And the method will run only if the device is online. Device twins will run uh, all the time because they are cached. Uh, and the last demo is to blink a LED using the uh, uh, device twins and then to shut out the device using uh, their direct methods. And then I will... Uh, we still have 30, 30 seconds. <laughs> not, not by our clock. I should look for chocolates, maybe, make a, maybe I can bribe you. <laughs> And uh, uh, not to lose time, we have here the J JSONs. This is how the property should look. I said that I want the desired property. I named the property led on. And these are the method uh, uh, signatures and parameters. And all you can do from a Device Explorer. So if uh, this, again, fail to connect, because uh, I'll try once more, and if it does not, I'll show you the last slide, which are my contact information. And this is a connection problem something. Uh, if you come to the expert corner and want to see it, we'll have enough, plenty of time to, to set this up. And again, uh, this application, Device Explorer, you find the GitHub, use the APIs to connect to the IoT Hub, does everything. It's not the only way to do it. You can do it from the, uh, from the portal, you can do it from a lot of places. And it's, again, one failed. So uh, I'll give you the last slide, and uh, thank you very much. Uh, now, uh, okay. So this one, shift. Uh, F5. You are doing something. The, is that by PowerPoint? So I, I, I still, my board blog is not parked, but you can find me at my user group address. And I thank you very much. Also, you can see this on the expert corner if you want it. So let's thank you to our speakers. It was an amazing presentation. And